All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're gonna do another whipping shot here. All right, Diamond Art Club's Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. Okay, oops. Square drill, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. 42 colors, including four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, had a little supper. Watch part of Leafs and LA hockey game. Just waiting for the dishwasher, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I don't suddenly, suddenly like sports. We're good. <laughs> if you like sports, go for it. <laughs> but, yeah. Just basically waiting for the dishwasher to finish. Alright, just working away at this 310. Almost done with this section. See what we can get. And then I can move on to the final corner of this epic canvas. Alright. Awesome. Hopefully your day is going well. Hopefully you got a chance to spend some time uh, yourself and do what you like doing. <laughs> yeah, helpful, right? <laughs> Hobby or just relaxing, you know, it's all good. Yeah, I'll just make sure I get diamonds on adhesive in these whipping jets, so yeah. It's the most important part. Don't like stalling for too long. I'd like to, yeah, get some progress in these canvases that I'm doing while uh, recording. It's always a good thing. But yeah, do what you can. You have time to yourself for your hobbies. If it's just a couple stitches or you read a couple pages and within a few minutes or you crochet a couple rows, knit a couple rows, etc. Yeah, accomplish a bit just by sitting down and doing something for a bit. Don't have to finish a whole afghan or project in one sitting. Spread it out if you want. It's all good. <laughs> I find with whip and chats, but yeah, just get the phone centered, all that figured out, and then it just feels like I'm diamond painting casually. So, Oops, why not flame drills around? Right. Yeah, found in hockey games now, uh, at certain camera angles, they digitally uh, scroll ads on the boards around the hockey rink like they make it one centralized ad and it's just what you see on the TV screen and then when the camera zoomed down on the ice this is any NHL hockey by the way then when you zoom down the boards just have various different sponsors on the sides instead of just the one. I've seen advertisements 
digitally inserted onto the pitcher's mound in baseball. It, once the camera is at a certain angle or distance, it gets digitally an ad or whatever, or a sponsor gets digitally placed onto a certain spot on the pitcher's mound. So that you can see it. <laughs> Tons of sponsorship in uh, NHL hockey, that's for sure. It seemed like a Tim Hortons ad. On They're in like Hollywood. They're in Los Angeles. Playing in Los Angeles, so the Leafs came down to play against LA. The Toronto Maple Leafs, that is. So... Yeah, that's advertising on a whole <laughs> different level where you can just digitally insert advertising <laughs> almost anywhere that you can see a TV screen. Oh, I was looking at that advertising stuff more than I was actually seeing what was going on in the actual hockey game. Yeah, I, I do that. <laughs> I notice these little things and just like so fascinated. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, and just when I thought they measured the velocity of the baseball as soon as it's soon after it's pitched like across home plate like when somebody's at bat they measure the velocity or speed of the baseball after it's thrown and they display it on the screen during a sports broadcast on TV or whatever <laughs> I'm sure it shows up somewhere in the stadium where people actually are that are observing the game in the stands I'm pretty sure that stat kind of shows up somewhere no oh, excuse me uh, now I've seen that they measure the speed of the puck if there's like a slap shot or something like if the puck is hit by a stick in hockey it's miles per hour because it's yeah in LA but Something like 80 something miles per hour. Must have been a slap shot or something. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that kind of stuff, but yeah, players on ice or yeah, stats like that, my brain just turns off. Oh, this guy has a 57% <laughs> shot chance or something. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. It's hockey, like, you know, puck put it into the net of the opposing team, and the other team's doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. If you share something, like, too technical with too many terms or numbers in it, I'm going to just blank out. Be like, uh, pardon? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't understand help. <laughs> Is this English? <laughs> it's like, yikes. I don't know, that takes uh, action speak louder than words on a whole new level. When uh, you're comparing stats compared to as what the player is actually physically doing to accumulate those stats. I like that far better than uh, getting a stat from like just 
a sheet of numbers. Yeah, there's just like so much information that is tallied up and I don't know, so many stats per player, I guess. It's just like, what does this all mean? I'm sure, like if y'all looked sports stuff out for like baseball, RBIs and that kind of stuff, it would make sense, but usually they just, uh, sportscasters just kind of blurb this stuff out and it's like, oh yeah, you're watching the game so you're going to know what's going on. It's like, okay. <laughs> Gets to the point, it's like, okay, baseball um, or hockey and it's like, okay. Football, oh my god, yeah, it's a whole... different mentality there yeah a distance left distance markers on the field but they can digitally put other stats and figures and draw lines onto the field digitally to let you understand what's going on visually in the game if you just turn on the TV like or just tuned in Football, I just was like, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, touchdowns, that stuff makes sense, but a couple other terms. Uh, just kind of sit there confused. And I think there are different like flag colors in football, uh, like NFL football, not like soccer in the UK, England. Yeah, because I think they call soccer football in the UK, so it's like, or Europe. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I don't know, that stats just seem like extra information that just, I don't see what this means to me as a viewer. <laughs> sure it's good for the athlete's career or whatever to have certain numbers in good order, decent numbers, so you can get traded to the proper team and yeah, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure it's all just like a formality kind of thing. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> and, you know, it could also just be something to talk about. <laughs> if, uh, between periods or it's for the giggles it could be a comparison to say if somebody a player has started on a new team and got traded they can compare uh, how they did previously on one team and then compare to how they're doing now compare stats that way yeah it's just you can probably recall this stuff with up within seconds as well probably just have it like right there <laughs> database or something <laughs> I can just imagine the video game adaptations of hockey etc I don't know, 
they probably have a database or something like EA or whatever, EA Sport. The developers probably have all these stats and they can just like update the game accordingly for a while. <laughs> or maybe the stats can just automatically update according to the real world uh, stats when you're just playing as a ho hockey celebrity on a video game, in a video game. Just have their stats. I don't know if that generally affects like a virtual uh, avatar of uh, an actual hockey player's performance in the game, in the video game. If the stats are different, uh, I don't know if you'd call that role playing or not. No, you're playing as your potentially favorite hockey player or a hockey team. Uh, it's kind of role playing with stats. But I'm not sure if like certain players would be faster or more agile if you're controlling them. Or the, it just shows the stats to mimic the actual. Uh, hockey players attribute yeah never <laughs> like how realistic are these sports games these video games they make them like every year but they're titled for like the next year <laughs> so yeah a lot of questions arise from these video game adaptations of sport oh maybe there's people that just love seeing stats to see if a player is like improving or declining maybe that just helps as an indicator for player performance if an average is higher or lower than the previous year or a month or so back like depends what sports casters and coaches are looking for etc from a player a hockey game player Oh, you could probably say stats are like a resume for an athlete too. What position uh, played in the game? What you're really good at, what you're not so good at, can be improved, kind of thing. I don't know, stats seem to represent like a uh, how do you say it? Stats just show what the player has accomplished at a certain point. But averages might be recalculated after like every game and the stats are just tweaked, consistently updated according to how the player is doing at present time. Yeah, a whole lot of, in reality that is, in a video game I, it could very well just be for show. 
to kind of give you the experience of playing as favorite team. But they just try to make it accurate in a certain way. I don't know, that's just from watching hockey game for like a period, like under a half an hour. <laughs> all the sports, video game talk, <laughs> all the sports talk. I can really tell you too much about sports in general. Except maybe a couple of basic things. <laughs> No, my dad likes watching the Toronto teams. Probably watches a Raptors game every now and then. Watches basketball if it's like on. Loves hockey. <laughs> NHL does. I think he stays on football for too long if it is around. He'll watch it if he really wants to, I'd imagine. <laughs> okay, oh, that's the, that section done. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll have to take a progress photo of that. I'm just going to pause ever so slightly. We'll just be a blip. Okay, yeah, I paused for a second there. And yeah, just move to the final section here. Okay, so let's start with a color. We'll do number seven. Or symbol seven. Or the seven symbol. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> okay, 972. There, glad that center section's done. It was loaded with color, so that was good. But yeah, I have a background that's just basically a three ten. Yeah, <laughs> kind of take that in stride. Mm. All right, all right, nine seventy two. So this is like. The end of Hogwarts word RTS. So, okay, seven. Okay, let's see. It's five and nine, N and U for the letters. Okay, but there's, I'm seeing a few sevens down here. Okay, so we'll start down here. Nice yellow. <laughs> nice. It's good to be in the final section now. Awesome canvas, don't get me wrong, but yeah. It's nice to be getting close to the summit. <laughs> Starting to ascend the summit of this canvas. The very top, the end, <laughs> the finish line, etc. sevens here. Oops. There's one right there. I almost like skipped right over it. 
Oh, we got 25 minutes in already. Wow. Yeah, normally I'd, I'd establish a border, but since this is the final section, it's already established. <laughs> so, there you go. What I love about doing sections of a canvas. It's like, oh, here right now. Don't have to worry about anywhere else outside of here. sevens here, so some sort of leaf maybe. Should be a somewhat straightforward fill in here for the sevens, but yeah, it's kind of keeping a lookout. Low key. Cluster down here. So, yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram. All three, I just generally try to update if I finish a section or finish the canvas, etc. Just brief updates. Just take a couple minutes to peruse. <laughs> your little social media journeys yeah uh, try not to occupy too much time <laughs> if uh, yeah I finish this section tell you what it is and then 
wish you well. <laughs> I also post uh, walking challenge website links just directly to the website. I don't earn a commission or anything like that if you click the website links for Pacer or uh, Conqueror. It's just something I'm doing on the side. Just a way to be more active, just even by walking. So yeah, it's a physical activity then. So yeah, you're n yeah, under no obligation to like buy anything. It's just there for information purposes, or if you're curious. So totally up to you. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much just sailing into the last section here now. So let's get it. Anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies. If you're just hanging out, thank you. It's always appreciated. And I will see you next time. Bye.